First of all, I would like to thank the director as well as the museum for organizing this wonderful event in commemoration of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's 80th birthday. It is a special birthday not only for the people of Tibet and not only for the followers of Buddhism. But it is a big celebration for people who believe in peace and justice. Who is His Holiness the Dalai Lama? To the Mongolian people, he is known as the Ocean of Wisdom. Therefore, he was given the name, the Dalai Lama, which means Ocean of Wisdom in Mongolian language. To the Tibetans, he is recognized as the reincarnation of Buddha of Compassion, Avalokiteshvara. In modern time, he is also known as a philosopher, as a thinker, as a scientist, and as a world peace promoter. Because of his hard work, to promote, to promote human values, love, compassion, loving kindness, and for his promotion of interreligious harmony, and also for the struggle to protect and preserve the Tibetan culture and identity. He has been awarded over 150 international recognized awards. He turns 80 years old. And what, we, what are we celebrating? We are celebrating that such a wonderful person has taken birth in this land, in this, in this planet, travels the world tirelessly, to promote peace, harmony, and so on. So, what is the relationship between Russia and His Holiness the Dalai Lama? If you look at the historical facts of the Tibet, People from Russia and Mongolia were probably the very first foreigners to step foot in an unknown land. And that was not done in the last century, but many centuries ago. Many people from Buryat, Tuva, and Kalmykia have set foot in an unknown land to study Buddhism. And after completing their studies, have returned back to their homeland to build many uh, monasteries and educational institutions. So it is a for me. It is. I take great pride living in Russia and to be uh, part of the Russian Federation and to say that Russia is probably the longest friend of Tibet and His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Foreign friend, if I may say. I 
в этой стране, в России, а Россия была той страной, которую можно назвать самым стародавним другом Тибета, зарубежным другом Тибета, если я позволю так себе сказать. So therefore there is a very, very unusual and special relationship. Поэтому между Россией и Тибетом отношения очень особенные, необычные. Now, when we speak about relations, Когда мы говорим об отношениях, they don't necessarily have to be economic relations nor political relations. Совсем не обязательно эти отношения должны быть политическими или экономическими. The relationship between Russia and the people of Tibet, and as well as His Holiness the Dalai Lama, has always been through culture, philosophy. And so on. Отношения между Россией и Тибетом, и как следствие между его содействием Далай Ламы и Россией всегда основывались на духовности и на культуре. So today, uh, for us to hold this event today in the museum is a very symbolic. Мы видим в этом символический жест, то что такое событие день рождения его святейшества отмечается в стенах этого музея. Because we all know how Rorik was very popular as a thinker, as a philosopher, as a writer, as a poet. Мы знаем, насколько знаменитым популярным человеком был Николай Константинович Рерих, как поэт, как мыслитель. And who made this tireless journey to travel through the Himalayas. Мы помним все его путешествия по Гималаях, по Гималаю, по горной, горной местности, когда он путешествовал, не знаю, в Устали. And through his hardship to bring the rich cultural heritage to Russia. Он приносил в Россию это богатейшее наследие. Not only in writing, не только в своих трудах, but also through the wonderful art, но также в своих полотнах, замечательных полотнах, where we are blessed to be surrounded in this hall today. И сегодня мы благословлены созерцанием всех этих прекрасных картин. He brought, he brought the rich cultural heritage not through just not just through his writings, but also through visual as well. Его это это богатейшее наследие стало доступно нам не только благодаря so therefore, through that, through his art, through his writings, through his poetry, through his philosophy, and everything that brings us closer to Tibet and His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Поэтому мы можем сказать, что письменное наследие семьи Рерихов, а также замечательные полотна, это то, что сближает нас к Тибетам и, как следствие, приближает к его святейшеству Далай-Ламе. His Holiness the Dalai Lama has been to Russia on many occasions. Его святейшество Далай-Лама неоднократно бывал в России. And we continue to wait for his next visit. И сейчас мы по-прежнему находимся в ожидании его следующего визита. Due to, uh, due to certain circumstances, the time is not appropriate. В силу определенных обстоятельств сейчас не то время, когда его святейшество может так легко нас посетить. But we continue to pray and wish that His Holiness will visit Russia again in the near future. Но мы продолжаем молиться и делать благопожелания с надеждой на то, что его святейшество непременно посетит нас в ближайшем будущем. So yesterday was the day uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. We had a wonderful uh, event organized at Domkino. Вчера, 6 июля, по случаю собственного дня рождения Его Святейшества, мы провели празднование в Доме Кино. In commemoration of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's birthday, we released six new books that were translated into Russian. И по случаю дня рождения Его Святейшества, мы презентовали шесть новых книг Его Святейшества Дала Лама, которые были переведены на русский язык. There's thousands of thousands of books that are written on Buddhism, Starting from the time of Buddha himself to the commentaries that were made by his disciples and commentaries that were made by his uh, his disciples' disciples and so on. And it, and it has such a huge collection that even it is hard to pick out what to translate. So we consult with His Holiness the Dalai Lama and request him to give us some recommendations which might be suitable for the Russian audience. 
а какая именно книга или какие именно книги будут наиболее подойдут для российской аудитории, для российского читателя? So far we have printed seven books before. Семь книг мы уже опубликовали до этого 6 июля. We have, we have just yesterday released another six more books. А вчера к этому мы добавили еще шесть. Uh, to the edition of the Nalanda series, which we call. Это новые издания в серии Nalanda, книжной серии, которую мы назвали Nalanda. Uh, Nalanda was one of the biggest monastic institutions back mm -hmm. in the 8th, 9th century. В восьмом, девятом столетии Nalanda был крупнейшим монастырским университетом древней Индии. Which produced many scientists, scholars, writers, po poets, and... Из его стен вышло целое созвездие замечательных ученых, философов, биологов, поэтов. К сожалению, сегодня сам университет Наланда лежит в руинах, и о его величии, былом величии мы можем только вспоминать. And the books that were released in the past And those that are in working right now, some of them are even written by uh, some of the masters of the Nalanda. These books are not only written by the Nalanda masters, but also has His Holiness the Dalai Lama's commentaries. А те книги, которые мы презентовали вчера, 6 июля, некоторые из этих текстов написаны учителями Наланды, некоторые тибетскими учителями, но все эти книги прокомментированы его святейшим Далалам, содержат его комментарии. Те, кому интересны эти книги серии Наланда, мы призываем вас Прийти на наш сайт safetibet.ru, сохраним Тибет, где вы получите исчерпывающую информацию об этих книгах и о наших дальнейших планах. Uh, but nevertheless, today we want to give a set of the uh, books that were published to the Rodic Museum's uh, library for their collection. Сегодня же мы хотели бы передать эти книги в дар библиотеке центра музея Рейда. And also, Also yesterday there was released a autobiography of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, which was by Antonio uh, Gaft. And which was also, uh, uh, how to say, uh, released uh, by the uh, organization. Yes, several organizations. Несколько организаций принимали участие. В работе над этим, над этим диском, но uh, основная движущая сила – это издательство «Океан мудрости». Океан мудрости. And uh, we want to thank those people who have worked very hard to и make that happen. хотим поблагодарить всех тех людей, которые столько трудились для того, чтобы все эти издания и аудио у них увидели свет. We have six wonderful books that we would like to uh, present to the museum library collection. Вот шесть замечательных книг, которые мы хотим передать в дар вашей библиотеке. And uh, we have a set of the previous books that were also uh, uh, we want to present to the uh, Rodic Museum as well. And also this uh, wonderful autobiography. Mm -hmm. Once again, I want to thank the Rodic Museum for gathering all of us today in this unusual museum. It always is very exciting for me to come here because I don't see this simply as any other museum. Потому что для меня это не просто еще один музей. In this complex, there is a stupa that was built. Потому что в этом комплексе есть ступа, которая была построена в свое время. And when there is a religious structure. И когда на территории музея есть предмет духовного характера, религиозного характера. And that is blessed by many masters. Который благословлен многими учителями, наставниками. I see it as a very holy 
place. And also from the moment you walk in, you see the beautiful art. Though we are geographically, we are very far from the Himalayas. But through the wonderful paintings and through the visual, it brings us closer in the heart. I know that there's many people that admire His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And our admiration may vary on different levels. But I encourage you to listen to His Holiness biography. And to get to know Him and His Holiness Dalai Lama himself calls him, uh, describes himself as a simple Buddhist monk. But for a simple Buddhist monk to be admired all over the world is not sufficient enough. No, of course, for to, to call himself a simple Buddhist monk. And today's gathering, I want to dedicate our merit to the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. For the happiness of all sentient beings and for His Holiness to be with us for many, many years to come. And uh, I hope that He will truly uh, feel... You know, one, one very you know, fact that I can say is His Holiness the Dalai Lama travels the world, meets so many people on many different levels, but I can say for sure that He has a special spot in His heart for the people of Russia. Знаете, одну вещь я хотела сказать в заключении. Его святейшество путешествует по всему земному шару, посещая самые разные страны. Но я хочу заверить вас, что в его сердце Россия занимает совершенно особенное место. And I think this is something that we should all be proud and very happy for. И мне кажется, что это должно быть предметом нашей гордости и нашего счастья. The best present that we can give to His Holiness the Dalai Lama is not material or economic value. Uh, the best present that we can give to His Holiness the Dalai Lama is to be warm-hearted human beings. And to be an extension of the hard work that he has put into his during his lifetime to promote human values and interreligious harmony. Thank you.